Many people online have posted their theories and uh, scatological opinions about the upcoming total eclipse of the sun, referring to American locations that have biblical names. And today I would like to give you some news. If God says Egypt, it's actually the country in Africa and not a town in the southern USA. Nineveh, in prophecy, is in Assyria, in the region of Mosul, that is modern Iraq, not in Indiana, USA. And the credibility of Christianity is being ridiculed because of so-called prophets that talk about things they don't really know anything about. Charles Spurgeon, many years ago, talked about uh, eclipses of his time. And he said the following. First of all, eclipses are a part of God's plan. In the olden times, the ignorant people in England were frightened at an eclipse they could not understand what it meant. He then wrote an extensive essay in a diplomatic fashion, focusing on the need to accept Christ and not to focus in worldly beliefs. Astrology, we know that is a form of knowledge that biblically falls into a category that we may call witchcraft, and it's a forbidden practice for the people of God in the Old Testament. Does it that mean that astrology is not real? I believe that there are hidden pearls of knowledge in this practice. Some of the best astrologers at the time of Christ came from many places to Bethlehem to honor Jesus as it was predicted by their observations of the zodiac and ancient writings. What we cannot or should not do as Christians is to blend the message of the Bible with astrology and proclaim that the alignment of the sun, moon and earth provoking a total eclipse is somehow a prophetic event of some kind and twist the Bible in order to confirm a personal theory. We shouldn't do this. When Jesus prophesied and talked about wars, famines and signs in the skies, he wasn't talking about the total eclipse of the sun in the USA. He was giving us clues about the end times that can be read by the world and understood as a sign. I intend to watch the eclipse, if I can, and I will praise God that created all things for the wonders of His creation. I also took the time to do this short video to tell you that doesn't matter how dark things will become on planet Earth, the light of God will always win and at the end we will en enjoy the glory of God for all eternity. So let's keep the message of the gospel clear and keep ancient practices of witchcraft away from Christianity on the disguise of prophecy. Enjoy that you are alive for observing the eclipse and keep your faith and good works. God bless you. <laughs>